what's going on everybody welcome back here to another live stream in this video we are going to specifically dive into meme coins and why it's because everybody on youtube big and small people who normally don't talk about this small cap space everybody's talking about it there's a ton of opportunity out there but you've got to have a plan you got to take advantage of when the market's hot and you got to have a strategy. And in this video, I want to kind of dive into that because here's what we know about this sector. It's very speculative. We don't know exactly what happens with some of these unless they get to the level of Dogecoin and SHIB where they actually then create something out of it. We know the meme coin culture is real. All we have to do is look at Elon Musk and understand social media. And that's why this sector is not going away. And we as an investors, uh, as people in crypto, we can take advantage of this and we have to have plans though in place. I want to walk through a bunch of different strategies, things that I'm investing in, plans that I have for profits. Hopefully this video comes to you uh, and gives you guys some real insight here because a lot of people talk about meme coins and oh my gosh, they're going to go up forever, but they really don't talk about their strategy. They really don't dive into their plan that they have. And in this video, I want to kind of shed some light on all of that. So I appreciate you guys for stopping into the live stream. If you guys are here with us, go ahead and hit the like button for us. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's dive into it. And I hope this video you know, hits the algorithm a little bit because it's not directed at one community. Sometimes we struggle with that. So if you guys can help us get this one out there, I think it's important because a lot of people are talking about, hey, how should I invest in meme coins right now? First and foremost, I think you've got to find out this. How much disposable income or extra money do you have that you can essentially go to the casino with? Because that is what this space is. This meme coin space is straight up gambling. And that is different for every single person out there. But you've got to be realistic with yourself. You've got to have a certain percentage of your portfolio allocated toward this if you even want to do it. I'm not saying you have to do it. But if you decide to, you've got to be very specific with, hey, I've got X amount of dollars here. I've got a thousand dollars and I'm going to try to hit it big in the meme coin space. Here's the great thing. You don't have to throw a lot at each one of these in order to really do big things in the meme coin space, especially when you get in very, very early. So we're going to talk about obviously some of the large caps here, but we're also going to talk about some of the small caps in the meme coin space that, you know, could be one of those, uh, opportunities to throw a hundred bucks, 200 bucks at it in hopes that it becomes the next Pepe, Shib, Doge, heck, even somewhere in the middle of this. I mean, look at Miro, what it's doing today. Miro on Solana. Uh, we've talked about this one pretty early on guys. Um, when it was like a five, $6 million mark cap, it's went to a $323 million mark cap. That's really what we're trying to do. That is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find one of those big hitters because more often than not, when investing in meme coins, you're going to lose more than you win. However, when you win, you want to win big. And that's what I always say when in this sector. If I can knock out, you know, or if I could strike out five, six, seven times in a row, but then hit it big with two out of 10, then boom, we've got an opportunity. Now, I want to give you guys the rundown on the market caps of the top meme coins first, and then we're going to dive right into some of the ones I'm invested in. I just made a video about the first one on Brett, uh, excuse me, the first one on base. It's called Brett. There's a narrative happening right now that the first movers on these new layer one blockchains are good opportunities. We saw what Bonk did uh, on Solana. That was a first mover advantage. And I think we're going to see all of these layer ones start to launch their own meme coins. So it's very important that you stay up to speed on how you access these various chains. If you don't know how, find out how. There's tutorials everywhere, uh, but we're going to dive into all of that in this video. I want to start with the macro, though. Talk about just kind of obviously Dogecoin, SHIB, Pepe, these certain cryptos that have kind of sparked this entire rally. Without these, obviously, we don't have an entire market. This market cap itself, overall, memes token by market cap, $56 billion. However, 42 billion of the 56 is made up by two tokens, two coins, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. Think about that. $42 billion between Dogecoin and SHIB make up a big chunk of that 56 billion total. So obviously, investing in these at the top, you're not going to perhaps see the returns that you would in investing something that is, you know, a $5 million market cap or better yet, a $500,000 market cap or 
better yet, a $50,000 market cap. However, these don't come with as much risk because they're well-established. And when we look at Doge and SHIB, they're actually trying to build out and maintain a real ecosystem. We're talking about two top 10 cryptos right now. Number nine and number 10, Dogecoin, SHIB. It's much different. Okay, now you've got the next things in line, Pepe and Bonk. Dog with hat, right? These ones are kind of the mid-range, mid-tier, 3 billion, 2 billion, 2 billion. Floki's one, I think, that's getting kind of left out right now. Uh, you want to find the ones that are being kind of left out. That's another good strategy. You want to find the ones that are being less talked about right now and look at those as potential quality investments in this space. As you guys know, meme coins, there is more risk in this space than anywhere else. So you have to understand that right off the bat. But timing is everything still in this sector and in crypto in general. Timing is everything, okay? So when we take a look at this mid-tier, and again, we're going to get into the small cap here very, very soon. We're going to talk about Brett. We're going to talk about a lot of different ones here. And by the way, I will let you know, full disclosure, if I am a partner with them or not. I want to be very transparent about that because I think that's important for you guys as potential investors to know. And I will say this, anytime I do partner with, whether it's one of these meme coins or partner with one of the actual legitimate projects out there, uh, like I was talking to somebody in the Cardano ecosystem today, I always let you know that I am a partner with them. And I always, always, always buy in to the project because I want to have a vested interest. And that's me basically saying, I'm not endorsing this, but I'm saying, hey, I'm not just coming at this willy nilly. I think this can do something too. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is. All right. So with that being said, this is one we have talked about. I partnered with Myro in the past. Now, interesting story about Myro. I still think this has some legs and it had a big pullback. We'll take a look at Myro. Right now, it's a $322 million mark cap. Right now, my my focus is trying to find these ones that are anywhere from like 50 to Myro's range right now that I think can go to a billion because they're a little bit more established, right? There's not as much risk, even though I will take some risk with ones that are brand new. I won't put as much into those. Whereas like ones that are like 100 million, 200 million, those ones might be five, six X from getting to a billion dollar market cap. They've got a little less risk associated with them. So I'll put a little bit more into those, if that makes sense. Myro's one that I found really early though. I didn't put a lot in, but it went a long way. And then eventually down the line, as Myro grew, I was talking about them organically. Uh, they came to me and asked me for some help with marketing. Was happy to do that, especially because I was already organically invested and organically talking about them. I do think the narrative is still strong here with Myro. We're looking at a potential uh, meme coin on Solana that, uh, the, you know, the next one up that could get to a billion dollar market cap. We've seen it happen twice now with Bonk and Whiff. Whiff getting listed on Binance today, which is crazy. Um, but Myro is kind of next in line, one of those cryptos next in line, $322 million market cap. Somebody's saying Coinbase is down again. I mean, I feel like every time I go live now, Coinbase is down. Uh, let me see that real quick. Let me check. For me, Coinbase is up. Um, are you just trolling, basically saying that, Jeff? I don't know if you are or not. But uh, good afternoon to everybody. Sorry, we kind of got into a little bit of a rhythm there. What's going on, everybody? Smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to get to all the questions here too. So Ben, I'm going to come back to Dojo on Mars. Do not let me forget. I'm going to get to as many, many questions as I can. What's your favorite time indicator you like to use on uh, X1 Algo? Well, Derek, I got XT Algo. You got X1. So it sounds like you bought, uh, bought it from Austin Hilton. So uh, you're going to have to ask him. Um, no, not. I'm, I'm kidding. It's the same thing. Um, but if you didn't get it yet, XT Algo, links are down below. Best time frame I like to use personally is either the 12 hour or the daily, but I'm more of a macro trader. I'm not so much a day trader. So if you are more of a day trader trying to trade in a tight window, that's where you want to get into like the one minute, two minute, um, you know, obviously five minute, th those, those sort of things. Okay. Um, and we will get into more of that too. I wanted to kind of dedicate a live stream toward meme, king, meme coins though, because I think it's important. Everybody's talking about it and I've learned a lot from being in the space for three and a half years and the mistakes I made, okay? In terms of risk appetite, in terms of strategy, in terms of how to look for good ones, um, how, how, to, how to bat 200 basically, go two for 10, but still win big. Myro is one of those ones. I think it's interesting. It recently just set new all-time highs and the narrative is still there. Uh, okay, so with that being said, Here's an interesting play. Okay, COQ right here, ranked number 260.
This is the first big play on Avalanche. And that is why it's interesting. It's up 39% today. And these first big movers on these new blockchains when it comes to the meme coin space, these seem to be really moving up quickly right now. Okay. Very, very much so. So this is the first one on Avalanche. Virtual Bacon, if you guys know him, another YouTuber. Not so much a big meme coin creator, but he's he's diving into everybody is. And there's different types of investors out there. There are people out there that would say, hey, I'm too good for that space. I only invest in Bitcoin or I only invest in these sort of things. And that's fine. I'm not that type of investor. I'm someone who looks for opportunities wherever opportunities are. That's it. End of story. But also fundamentally know what the differences are here, right? Investing in COQ today in the meme coin space is not like investing in Cardano, right? My top seven holdings are cryptos that I think are going to be here for the next decade. Not, you know, these, right? These are more quick trades, at least swing trades, maybe over a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. Maybe they turn into long-term plays, you know, if they become Dogecoin, SHIB, Pepe, Bonk status, these these sort of Floki, um, Miro even, right? But it takes a while, especially when you find them early. Now, uh, with that being said, you know, we've seen these first movers really have a big, big push. Uh, Corgi AI on Kronos got to over a billion, okay? That's not even listed on this. Uh, it should be. It should be listed here, but it's not. Uh, so that's why COQ and some of these other ones that are first movers are interesting, especially if they're still back here at 200 million, 100 million. Now, I just put a video out on this one. Uh, full disclosure, I am working as a marketing advisor or partner, whatever you want to say. I'm working as a partner with them to help push the first big play on base. Now, base is the uh, blockchain for uh, Coinbase. Um, and yes, undercover doc, we're going to talk about tips as well. That one's sending. That is a relatively small cap. And if you guys do have ones you want to throw out there, go ahead. We're going to get to as many as possible. This one's kind of in that mid tier range $156 million market cap. You know, I'm hoping that the first one here on base can get to a billion like the first couple have done on other blockchains, right? Like the one on Avalanche COQ, I think is on the way there. This one, kind of in that mid tier, not big, not small yet, but still could have some legs. Uh, and so Brett is one I'm looking at. Uh, again, I put a full video out on my channel if you guys are interested in checking that out. Um, I'll show you guys what we've got on the channel here today. Uh, let's see here. What we've got on the channel here today uh, is uh, right here. That's the channel. That's the one. First meme coin on base chain is sending Brett coin. Check it out, guys, if you're interested in looking into it. Uh, you do have to bridge with Brett. Uh, Basics with bridging is right on their website. It's very, very simple. If you have a MetaMask, Trust Wallet, if you have a DeFi wallet, you're, you're going to be all set. It's really easy. Just add the network. They show you how to do it. Um, it's very, very simple in terms of getting that all together. Um, so with that being said, this is one that I've recently invested in today. I think it still has some legs. And if we look at you know the hour by hour, uh, it had it was on a nice little dip. It came out in February, February 24th. It was on a nice little dip. Seems like it's being bought up a little bit here, um, but we've seen a little dips along the way. You never want to try to try to avoid buying right at the top, right? Um, and you know, I think on this dip here today, I got got in somewhere. I think at about 140 million, roughly uh, 138 million, somewhere in there on this last candle before we came live, and we are bouncing up a little bit. So we'll see what happens, right? And here's the thing: I didn't invest what I'm willing to. I didn't invest more than I'm willing to lose in this. Anytime you're investing in meme coins, you have to have a strict plan in place to not over leverage yourself, in my opinion. Not financial advice, but I'll give you guys what I think. What I like to do is give uh, give myself about a 10 to 15% of my total crypto portfolio and allocate it toward these really risky plays or these really risky sectors like community tokens, meme tokens, etc. And then I know I still have a backbone in my portfolio with my Bitcoin, with my Ethereum, with my Cardano, with Caspa. By the way, Caspa got a big listing. Maybe we'll get to that later on in the stream. But I do want to stay focused here on meme coins because there's a lot to get into right now. But you take about 10 to 15% of your portfolio and it's these type of plays that you're trying to make where, again, you're trying to hit on maybe two or three out of 10, right? Understanding the fact that 
You're not over leveraging yourself. You're not going all in. You're not trying to become a crypto millionaire in five seconds, that sort of stuff, right? It's a slow process and you're going to lose. That's what you have to be able to stomach in this space. In general, you're going to lose, but you're going to lose more often in this sector than anywhere else, in my opinion. And you have to be able to stomach that. One of the ways I'm able to stomach that is I'm not throwing a ton in here uh, in one or two of these. I'm pretty much putting $100 to $300. For me, that's money I'm willing to lose, $100 to $300 in each of these, and I'm spreading it out, right? So if I go into 10 of them, I'm allocating three grand or maybe even a full Ethereum at this point, et cetera, three to four grand, and I'm willing to lose it, okay? And I... I'm in a position uh, to lose it. And 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 so you got to ask yourself and be honest with yourself, what are what is that position for you? Okay, that is different for every single person. So that is how I like to play this market. Now, Brett is one that we you know, we talked about. This is one if you guys have been with me for a while now, or at least in the last, you know, week or so, um this has been one that has just been so surprising. And I'll give you guys a little backstory on this. And this is much much different than the one I just got into. So, Brett, I got into at $140 million mark cap. This one is complete degen, as I like to say. And I got into this thing at a $200,000 market cap. $200,000 market cap. You guys have heard me talk about this one. It's Tremp. It's another one on Solana. Speaking of you know investing in meme coins on Solana, it's very, very hot right now. There are a lot of rug pulls, though. Just be ready. I mean, there are. So one of the things I like to do is use Quick Intel. This is a company that I early was an early investor with as well. It's not a meme coin, but this is something you can use in order to look at contracts. This little company right here, I'm going to drop it in here because if you if you get serious about trading meme coins, you need these little these little nuggets, these little resources. Quick Intel has got a little website, okay, that you could drop any contract in on, and it'll give you kind of all the red flags. It'll give you anything that's maybe wrong with the contract. Is it a honey pot? Uh, is it uh, are they blacklisting wallets? These sort of things, right? So if you're not familiar with all of this sort of stuff, you're probably not ready to be investing heavily into meme coins because you gotta you gotta navigate these waters and you gotta go through trial and error. You gotta know the lingo, you gotta go, you got you gotta know how to best position yourself to do well in a crazy, crazy wild west space. Okay. So quick intel is a nice thing that I like to use. Um, in order to know when to get in. And when I looked at this contract, it looked relatively clean. It has been pretty solid. Uh, and look at Donald Trump, this this freaking meme token. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, what this thing has done, it's went to a $9.57 million mark cap. I got in at 200000 Guys, I threw 300 bucks at this thing, and it's absolutely exploded. Um, I have been slowly dripping profits out uh, day after day, and it's just been insane. And again, this one big hit for me wipes out eight or nine losses. Okay, so hopefully I'm making sense here. Uh, hopefully I'm making sense here. How do you buy Brett? Eric, so uh, it is listed right on their website. You've got a bridge from Ethereum over to base. So if you're on your MetaMask, that's what I use. you got to add the base mainnet and then bridge some Ethereum over. Um, let me give you guys the docs here in terms of bridging. Uh, let's see here. Let me give you guys what you need here. Um, I will drop this link in there if you're interested in this. So this is the document for bridging. Okay. That's the document for bridging. And then let me give you this too. And these are little things that you need to know, right? Uh, and these are, uh, no, th that, that's all you need really. That's, and then obviously you need to manually add you need to manually add the the network there, okay, as well. And I'll give you how to do that using base with your wallet, Coinbase wallet or other wallets. There's a MetaMask link here. Let me drop that in for you guys too, so you're familiar with how to do this. And once you do it once, you're 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 ready to go. Okay, so there you go, Eric. There, there's the two documents you need. I just dropped them both in there. Um, I also put the quick Intel link in terms of checking contracts. So guys. It's meme coin season. It's crazy, but you need to have the tools and you need to be prepared. So I'm trying to put out a real live stream, not just something that says everything's going to the moon. Here we go. Just ape into this, ape into that, because I fell into that trap as an investor last cycle and I got wrecked. So you you still have to have a plan, even though it seems like, you know, this is so silly and funny in the in the small cap space. 
say what you will, but if you come at this thing with a plan, you can really come out of here ahead. All right. So let me see here. So that's, that's in there for you. Okay. Undercover had a super chat here. Love your channel. Big on tips. LP burn and awesome team plus a hundred percent circulating supply. Yeah. So this is another one I recently got into. Uh, and let me see where it is. It should be on my side panel here. Where's tips? Hopefully it's not. Oh, you know what? I think it might be here. Yeah. Yeah. This thing has been sending too. All right. So this is literally a day old guys. This is still on the 24 hour candle. So this is really new, but it's already a $1.77 million mark cap. It seems to be cruising right along. There's never any guarantees, but this is one where again, I threw a couple hundred bucks at this thing when it first launched and I've already like five X from here. And again, it's not even 24 hours old. This is tips. Uh, and of course, meme coins, you're going to freaking, you know, it's all narrative, right? Just the tip, uh, cash tag tips, which is hilarious. And uh, if you go to their Twitter page, let's see here, should be able to find them. Here they are. I'll leave this link down below if you guys are interested in checking this one out. But I did go ahead and ape into this one. So far, so good. Um, I've already taken my initial out. So that's another really, really important thing to note. So with Tremp, right when I got in here, um, Tremp moved really fast. So I think it was actually at a 3 or 4x right away. I immediately got my $300 out. Anytime I 2 to 3x on a meme coin, as long as I'm up and available, I'm getting my initial investment out. And that is just something I do all the time because then I'm mitigating my losses, right? I initial I, I get that initial investment out and then I have a profit taking plan from there. No matter what, no matter what, I'm not going to lose money as long. So as soon as it goes up three or four X lock in that initial investment back and maybe even a little bit of profits. Ask yourself what your strategy is. There's sometimes if it goes up real quick, goes up four or five X, I'll take a little bit on top of, you know, the initial investment that I put into it. That way I've won the trade. Now I've won the trade. No matter what, I can sleep easy at night. I don't got to stay up all night, uh, you know, looking at my phone and wondering what the hell's going on. Um, but yeah, tips looking good and it's early. It is early for tips. So, uh, that is interesting. Um, it's going to be one that I'm watching very, very closely. Uh, so what I use here is my phantom wallet here with Solana meme coins, guys. Um, that's what I personally use. And obviously Jupiter and radium are the two big ones. Um, so yeah, a very, very small investment into just a tip has, uh, has done pretty well for me so far. So I'm absolutely loving that. We're loving the gains here, uh, on that one. Uh, interesting here. Meme AI is one I talked about way a little while back and, uh, looked like it was dead in the water. It's making a little surge here in the last three days. Look at this one. This is a 2.19 mil. It's meme AI. Um, I do own a little bit of this one that we got in at launch. We're still only about three X. So I'm going to go ahead and take my initial out here today. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take my initial out of this right now, guys. If if you uh, just bear with me for a second here, because again, this is how you want to do it and how you want to play. Once you two, three X, get that initial investment out. You know, there's no reason not to, uh, in my opinion, again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you guys what I do. You could take all this information, uh, what you will for what you will. Where do you feel SHIB will top out at the during this uh, upcoming bull run? My target, Cooper uh, David, is obviously let's get to all-time highs first with SHIB, and then let's see what happens. I I'd like to get to 305. That would be great. Bro, meme coins are the number one way to go bankrupt. Uh, Umar, listen, it's not for everybody. Meme coins are the number one way to go bankrupt if you over-leverage yourself, if you put a bunch of money in that you don't have. Yes, 100%. That is the number one way to go bankrupt. However, if you have disposable income and you go at it strategically and you take calculated risks and you actually have a plan, many people who get into meme coins don't have a plan. They're not coming at it smartly. Is that a word? They're just going at it willy-nilly and they're just throwing things around, throwing money around and trying to win. Yeah, that's how you get wrecked. That's how you go bankrupt. But like anything, if you have a strategic plan in place, you can make money in every single sector in crypto. And I would argue you can make more money in the meme coin market with a strategic plan as long as you have disposable income you're willing to lose 
You can make more money in this space than anywhere else. And here's the thing with meme coins. I'm not looking to, you know, be in meme coins and 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 just that's my strategy. I'm looking to stack more Ethereum or stack more Solana, depending on if the meme coins on Solana or Ethereum. I am looking to stack the main crypto. And if it's on base, I'm looking to obviously take profits there or avalanche, take profits there and get it into less risky assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. That is that is my that is my play with meme coins. But I thought it was really important to come on here and do a live stream that really dives into meme coins from this perspective, not just, oh my gosh, here's the next meme coin that's going to you know 100x and make you a millionaire. Yes, those opportunities are out there, but they're few and far between. So why not try to make a bunch of 5 to 10x's and you can get ahead that way. Every you don't have to do 100x every time. You know, I know people want that 100x and that's great. And 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 they they will be out there and there's opportunities to get it. I mean, we, how many people did it with Shib, right? Tons. But you can still have a bunch of 5 to 10x's instead of losing your ass on a bunch until you hit a hundred X, right? You can, ha you can have a ton of five to seven X's along the way. Okay. Let's keep going. I want to get through some of these. Um, so we're going to be watching a lot of these together. Um, so we're invested in tips, full disclosure. Uh, they did ask me to put out a video, uh, and I am mar helping with marketing on this one as well. Again, this is a Solana meme coin. Um, I sent a couple tweets out on it earlier um, and obviously talking about it here on the live stream. I invested in it as well with my own money. Tremp never was paid by these guys. Again, I want to give you guys all of this full disclosure. Okay. Never was paid by these guys at all. Was up on a Twitter space at 2 a.m. Um, I don't even know how long ago it was. The, it was the day they launched on February 27th and decided to ape in this thing. It's been unbelievable for me. Smog. Um, I did work with these guys. And oh my gosh, I mean, smog has just been unbelievable. Guys, we put a video video out on smog at a $2 million market cap. It is now $163 million on Solana. This is another one. It's turning into one like Myro that has a chance here to go to distance. This daily candle that's running right now on smog is absolutely crazy. Uh, do I own Solana? Yes. And here's the thing. I want to talk, talk to you guys about this with meme coins. One of my big goals now, and I've, I've been changing this up and, uh, you know, because I'm dabbling with so many of these Solana meme coins now, my overall goal is to stack Solana because when you're trading on the, you know, Solana chain, you're swapping in and out of Solana, not Ethereum, obviously. So my goal is to accumulate a couple hundred Solana trading meme coins. If I can accumulate a couple hundred Solana when meme coin season goes away, because here's the thing, everything is cyclical. Eventually, meme coin season will go away. And it'll be all about the big winners and the big players and Solana and Cardano and Bitcoin and Ethereum and meme coins will be a little quieter. Everything is cyclical. When that happens, I'll have a ton of Solana that I'm stacked up on. And if Solana four or five X is like a lot of people think it will, well, now I've put in the work to stack Solana through these meme coin investments. And now I'm getting an additional four or five X on my Solana when Solana starts to run like crazy in the, in the full bull run. You see what I'm doing here? You, you see the plan? That's the roadmap. Listen. It's a plan. We don't know if exactly it's going to play out like that, but at least we have one in place. And, and I think we've been talking a lot about that lately. Um, okay. Want to keep running through the line real quick. Not a meme coin. This is a real utility based project, but shout out to devour. We talked about them yesterday, guys, when they were right here consolidating uh, and they were literally at a six or $7 million market cap. Look what's happened here today and yesterday. Devour. Dpay is now at almost $13 million market cap. Again, not a meme coin here. This is a company I work with and I'm uh, very much heavily invested in. And I know this team very well. Had a chance to meet out, meet with them at ETH Toronto. We talked about the importance of networking over the last few weeks. Unbelievable to see what they're doing. I know they're working with the Paul Barron network. This is a legit play uh, for you guys that are interested. Not financial advice. All I'm saying is, hey, I'm giving you guys things to look at giving you opportunities, throwing you guys alpha. That's all I can do. It's up to you to see what you want to do with that. Do your own due diligence. But yeah, Devour, shout out to them. They're crushing it. Sinkus Dow. I don't know if you guys know about this right now. Sinkus Dow 
has been absolutely exploding. $42 million mark cap. Again, not a meme coin. We'll get back to meme coins here in a second. A new standard of treasury-backed DeFi. Um, I am working with these guys as well as a marketing uh, or a, a, as a partnership. Sinkus Dow, a new standard of treasury-backed DeFi. Did a long, long video on them yesterday right here. This video right here. The new DeFi crypto is exploding in the past three months. This new DeFi crypto. Check it out. Very interesting. We put this video out yesterday. I think we were at a $29 million mark cap yesterday when we put it in there. Uh, the video out, it's at a $42 million mark cap. Unbelievable things happening there. Um, this one here, we've doubled up on our investment so far. Our initial investment's already out. This is another one. This one's on Ethereum. So we know what happened with Dog Whiff Hat. Just got listed on Binance. That was the Solana one. That's a top crypto. It's a top meme coin. Here it is right here. Um, and by the way, we're going to get to some other OGs. I know a lot of people want to hear about Doge on Mars, et cetera. We're going to get there. Um, Dog Whiff Hat, num ranked number 52. This is on Solana, 1.887, up 40% today, 47%. Getting listed on Binance, crazy. Well, this is a spinoff of that. We know how narrative is huge with meme coins. Frog Whiff Hat um, on Ethereum is sitting at a $3 million mark cap. Uh, we got in at 1.5. We've taken our initial out. We'll see what happens. I'm just kind of I'm just kind of hanging in the balance here with that one. We'll see what happens. Um, why is WIF not available in the UK? No idea. Are you trying to get it on Binance or? I'm not sure. Obviously, in the UK, you can get it on the the deck side for sure. Is tips on Coin Market Cap? I don't think it is just yet. Um, which is crazy. I think they've applied. I think they have a. Oh wait, why am I typing in Coin Market Cap on Coin Market Cap? You'll have that. Um, no, they're not even listed on there yet. So that's pretty crazy, right? Um, but again, sometimes these really, really early ones, you know, are kind of the way to go. Um, okay, so that's Frog Whip Hat. Let's go ahead and double check what Tips is doing. Sitting at a one point eight two. Still the first day it's launched. Tremp is going absolutely insane right now. That's that's awesome to see. Um, an OG community token, Suka, guys. This is a project I worked with years ago, uh, actually about a year ago or so. It has yet to see a bull run. I've got a big bag of Suka. I've been working with this team for a while. Um, they have been crushing it as of late, sitting at a $56 million market cap. I really like this one. When we look at the big list of top memes by market cap, we scroll on down, we will find Suka right here, sitting at 56 million, just below uh, Token Fi, Samo, which is also on, um, which is also on uh, Solana. Uh, we've seen Kishu, which is an overall big, big top player that's been around for a while. Uh, this one made a nice little surge. Some of these OGs, that's kind of a different subset, right, of uh, of cryptos. There will be a resurgence. There is one that I really like that's a that's kind of an OG one that's been around that I think is super, super down right now, and not a lot of people are talking about it, and that's Dojalon Mars. Ticker symbol Elon. If we take a look at Dojalon Mars, last check yesterday, and we're basically still at that same price point, we are literally like 687% still away from all-time highs. And again, this one's been through the ringer. We know it's listed on, uh, remember when it got listed on Gemini and coin uh, or in crypto.com out of the gate, nobody knew about it. So if we go to markets over here on Doge on Mars, it is listed on KuCoin, OKX, Gate, as we mentioned, uh, crypto.com. At least I think it's still listed on crypto.com. Did they delist it off crypto.com or is it just not on here? It's still listed on crypto.com, right? It should be. Let me know if somebody knows that because they're not listing it as a market, but I'm pretty sure it was listed there at least. We'll have to see if it got if it's still there. Um, JRE, what's up, man? Thank you, man. You did not have to do that. Big time super chat from JRE. Hey, man, I've been watching your live streams too. I like what you're putting down over there. I know you're a heavy trader. Um, crazy, man. Meme coin space is wild. I appreciate the super chat, man. You did not have to do that. Um, might have to look for the next Solana meme coin, though, now. Um, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. No uh, no doubt about it. Uh, check out JRE, by the way, guys. He also has a YouTube channel. Let me see if I can 
uh, pop it up here, actually. Let's see. Yeah, if you guys uh, have not yet, I just subscribed there, and I was still seeing your stuff, uh, JRE, and I was seeing it on Twitter. I know we follow each other there. I'm going to drop uh, Joseph Robinson Entertainment, his channel, down here in the chat. Make sure you guys go show him some love over there. He's doing some live streams as well. I'm seeing his stuff pop up a lot lately. Um, I know he's doing some heavy trading, and I know you've been doing some live streams, uh, JRE, like that are like six, seven hours long. I was actually watching one the other night, real late night, watching one that you did uh, late last year. I was just checking out kind of your style and how, and how you uh, how you do it and things like that. So, um, there you go, guys. Definitely give him a look and uh, give him a subscribe over there on uh, YouTube as well. Um, so I appreciate you, man. Um, let's keep rolling here through these different meme coins. And, um, okay. So we've got, and I might interject with a couple different plays as well. Just things I think are interesting. This is one that I do think is interesting. This Kazuna play. And, and this is a narrative play. It came out in October last year. Now I invested in this one. I'm a little bit down actually on it. I invested at a $45 million mark cap. So you can actually get a better position than me if you wanted to. No, no affiliation. They're not paying me or anything. I threw a little bit at this, you know, and this is this is part of the high risk portfolio. It's kind of a meme coin, I guess, um, but maybe not. They're getting into AI, they say. The first token built for decentralized AI, inspired by Ryoshi's principles of decentralized maximalism. Interesting, right? Sounds a lot like, you know, SHIB and that whole decentralized push. Now, what's interesting here is if you go to the contract, Okay, if you go over to the contract and you click over to holders, shout out to Mutasco on this too from Twitter Spaces. Mutasco put me on this one. The Shiba Inu deployer is the number one holder here. They own 50% of the supply. I thought that was fascinating. I asked a bunch of people from the SHIB team. We just got two people, two new people to sign up with XT Algo. Um, appreciate you guys. If you guys are interested in that, Easy trading made simple. If you're looking to trade some of the top cryptos and uh, have a better plan in place to take profits, XT Algo is my trading indicator. If you do sign up, make sure you use the 21% off discount code, which is X. It's all in the description. But yeah, Shiba Inu Deployer here, top holder of Kazuna. I was like, wait a minute. This is interesting. We were on a little bit of a dip. Now it looks like we're coming back up. Interesting. I mean, I, I threw a little bit at it, threw a stab at it. Um, they all said, the people that I know in the SHIB ecosystem very, very well, some heavy hitters there, uh, much bigger heavy hitters than I am. Um, they did extremely well uh, on SHIB. I did okay compared to these guys. They were like, hey, we don't know anything about it. So I don't know if they're just saying that or if they do know something. I don't know. But uh, Mutasco, show, Mutasco showed me this one. Shout out to him. Um, he's part of the Crypto Alliance on the uh, Twitter spaces. I went ahead and threw some at it. We'll see what happens. Um, we mentioned a little bit earlier, Brett, this is on base. Any of these new cryptos on these new blockchains seem to be crushing it. We, we mentioned uh, COQ over on Avalanche. That one's over at 200 million right now. I'm hoping Brett can make another big push here and become the first billion dollar meme coin on base. It, it seems like it's happening a lot lately. Again, meme coins are very, very risky, guys. Be careful. Only invest what you're willing to lose. And Myro, where are we at with Myro? Set all-time highs yesterday, which was insane. Uh, and here today, $323 million mark cap. We did wick up to about 390 almost 400 Earlier this morning, we were over that. We actually wicked up to about $420 million and then dialed back. Speaking of 420, we've got 420 people with us in the chat. If you haven't hit the like button yet, definitely, definitely do that. Uh, helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, Make sure you do that. This stream pretty much dedicated stro uh, solely to meme coins, guys, because everybody's talking about it, but nobody's really giving you guys the true breakdown and the true way of thinking about this and how to allocate and how to not go broke chasing the next 100x. You don't need to go broke chase the, chasing the 100x. You know what? 10 10xs equals one 100x, and 10xs are a lot easier than 100xs and listen, you might lose out on some gains when you take out profits early. Listen, I've been taking profits out on this Trent play that we had a 200K mark cap. And you know what? If I'd have left it all in, I'd be doing way better. But you know what? I'm not upset about that because there are no guarantees. It could have went the other way very quickly, and I could have lost a bunch of money. 
that, that I had. Instead, now that money that I've taken, I've profited from, that's in Solana, and that is locked in profits. So you got you can't be emotional with this stuff. You can't be emotional. And sometimes you will miss out and the crypto will go parabolic. But other times when you don't take profits and you get emotional, you'll wake up one day and the thing rug pulled or it went to zero or it lost half its value in, in an hour. That sort of stuff happens on the daily. And it happens more often than these meme coins flying up. So be aware of that. And don't let that get in the way um, of that sort of stuff. Um, So hopefully that 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 gives you gives you some gives you some insight there. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, Myro has been looking good. What is the price target for Leash in this bull run? You know, we got up to a nine or ten thousand dollar market cap, or excuse me, nine or ten thousand dollar price target. First and foremost, let's get above all time highs. I'm not quite sure exactly where we could go with Leash. It has a very limited supply of 150 thousand, which is very bullish. But I want to see more use cases around Leash too before I get super excited. I own a few of them right now at a roughly like four or five hundred bucks. I bought them pretty low. Um, I'm just going to hold them throughout the bull run here. And I don't really have a strategic plan uh, with them. I'd like to see them get back to all time highs and then I, you know, kind of see where the market's at uh, with those. Um, let's see here. Who do we got? Uh, Joseph Robinson still in the chat. Yeah. Again, guys. Uh, Jerry, thanks again, man. You did not have to send that huge uh, $200 super chat, um, but I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, and uh, definitely want to show JRE some love. Guys, make sure you guys check them out uh, over on YouTube. You can find him on Twitter as well. Uh, many of you have probably known him. He's been in the space for a while, um, so definitely, definitely check it out. Yeah, we're going to get to Samo. Somebody put Samo in on the chat, and uh, Samo's an interesting one. I do own that one, so let's talk about Samo real quick. Before I forget, somebody just mentioned that. So here's your top list again. And it's interesting because everybody thinks Bonk is the first, you know, crazy one that goes crazy on on, on uh, Solana. And it kind of is if you're looking at this cycle. Uh, but this one here went absolutely parabolic back in 2021. It's now ranked number 528, Samo. I did throw a couple hundred bucks at this. Shout out to Mike the Investor. Mike the Investor actually got me in on this one. And as you guys are, you know, hopefully you're picking up what I'm throwing down a little bit here. I'm talking about a lot of people who are in my network that are throwing me little tidbits on this. And then I throw a little tidbit over here to somebody else. And then somebody else comes to me and says, hey, check out this. This is why it's so important to build a network. So, so important to build a network because it's impossible for one person, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, it doesn't matter who it is. It's impossible for one person to have this all figured out and be able to see everything that's going on at once in the crypto space. It's just not going to happen. And this is why it's so crucial to build out your network because, like I said, this one came from Mike, the investor. I did throw a couple hundred bucks at this. The reason why I like it is it's back down to a $67 million market cap. If you look now at the all-time high, this thing got to $0.24 cents two years ago. It is still down 92% away from its all-time high. SAMO, ticker symbol SAMO. 92% away from its all-time high. It's sitting at around two cents right now, which tells us we've got about a 12x to go from here just to get back to the all-time high. And it's one of those ones that have not really run just yet. Although it is up quietly 81% in the last month. It had a little bit of a run late in 2023. We invested in it uh, sometime in November on the run-up here. On the, on the slow run-up. We didn't get it at the top. We probably got it somewhere in here. Uh, so now we're probably uh, at a break-even point, but I'm going to hold this one. Again, threw a couple hundred bucks at it, willing to lose it all, right? Again, that's the mindset you have to have, in my opinion, with these type of cryptos. I mean, this is full full speculation, right? All cryptos speculating, but this is speculating heavily. Uh, but if we get back to all-time highs even here with Samo, you know, you're looking at about a 12x return. And again, it's one of those ones that, has been around the block. Again, it's been here for multiple years. It's not going away. The volume's still pretty solid. It's in the millions. Market cap's still pretty solid. And if this does make a resurgence, look out. You know, Kishu's another one like that. I, I never invested in this one. I missed the boat on the first run-up. But who's to say this thing can't come up again? Again, it's kind of a similar narrative with like, hey, if this thing has another resurgence, you know, look out. I mean, look where this thing went to. 
at the all-time high three years ago, May 2021. Um, how many zeros? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. I don't know how many are there now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine zeros now, which is crazy. Um, but if I had to pick one here, uh, out of those two, they're similar in market cap there. I'm going to go with Samo right now, just because all the, the Solana, uh, hype right now is, is huge. Token is listed as a meme coin, but it's really not. Uh, this is an RWA play, real world asset tokenization play. Love this one. Um, this is a this isn't one of those you know hundred x plays. Uh, but Token Fi has just been a really strong mover on a little bit of a dip after setting new all time highs. Look at that chart though. Since their launch in October, check out what they're doing, guys. I'm telling you, they're part of the Floki system uh, and the ultimate crypto for real world asset. They were just recognized and mentioned by CoinDesk in this space um they are not a meme coin they're listed as a meme coin but this again you got to dive deeper here and and really understand what's going on um and this one i think is just misrepresented and it's a it's a legit project okay it's listed as a meme coin but it's really not so we mentioned suka really like that one as well uh turbo's on a nice little resurgence i don't know much about it i've heard about it uh shout out to volt they're coming up a little bit here as of late and I'm trying to see. I own some Punky down here. Punky, uh, it's on Solana. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm kind of still down on that. Bad Idea AI, another one here. It's listed as a meme coin. You know, it's way down from its all-time high. But I think Bad Idea has a really, really good chance to have a phenomenal return uh, with this entire Shibarium ecosystem gearing up. Take a look at that chart. Okay, again, you're trying to find some plays here that are you know, well off their all-time high, but have certainly not lost their momentum. Bad idea fits that narrative. Speaking of the SHIB ecosystem, big launch tomorrow, guys. And this is another one that'll probably get listed as a meme coin because it's an official SHIB token, um, but it's really not. K9 Finance is launching tomorrow. Okay, stay locked in. It's going to be crazy tomorrow. By the way, they're mentioned, uh, I just learned today, this morning, um, that K9 Finance, the launch is going to be somewhere around 12 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. I'm going to be getting in on this one at launch, okay? We might even go live for the launch and do like a live launch party and maybe just kind of like look at it and trade it and kind of navigate it all together live. We'll see, see how busy I get tomorrow. But I'm a private investor in this one as well. Been been gearing up for you guys for all, over a month now about this. And now Shaitoshi's talking about it. Feels like everybody's talking about it. I was telling my private community, the Discord, the, the day I got into this thing as a private investor, I said, hey, put this on your radar. Look out. They're bringing liquid yield to Shibarium. Go check out with Le go check out what Lido Dow does for Ethereum. That is what K9 Finance is going to be doing for Shibarium. Uh, and the K9 token is going to power the Dow. Check it out. Um, again, official SHIB token partnership project. The last time we had one of those was Bad Idea AI. Look where that thing spiked to um, months after their launch. Again, they launched in May of last year. Um, this was in July. And and then they started making huge moves at uh, during eToronto last year. This was August. This was the lead up to the huge blow off top that we saw uh, in August. I mean, this was just a crazy run that they had in August. Look at that uh, amazing run. This was all during uh, ETH Toronto, too, and they, they had their team out there. I do think Bad Idea will come back with a vengeance, and I think K9 is going to be another one that could fit, oops, wrong one, fit right into that mold as an official ship token, official ship partner. So let's see what else we got in chat here. We are going to continue to go through some other plays here. Okay, so Dojo on Mars is still listed on uh good okay still listen on crypto.com that's good that's good does jasmine go back over 50 cents you know some things change with the tokenomics a lot of it's going to come down with jasmine on these um official partners that they have and how much of that uh is uh basically locked up token supply so we'll see uh let's see here we do have some super chats Real Boss Man mentioned this yesterday. So we do have this token here on Shibarium. Very low supply. You don't need a full coin. 
It's an interesting play. So real boss, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, we've got another one, dude, Tyler dropping one in there and guys, these are not endorsements just going over super chats. Make sure you do, do, uh, do your due diligence before investing in these. I mentioned a great tool for you guys. It's quick Intel. If you guys want to drop these into, you know, before investing in any of these, drop the contract in here. It's pretty nice. You could select your chain. At least this gives you some Intel before you invest on what's going on uh, with it. But dude, Tyler, thank you so much uh, for the $5 donation there. Is tips even on trading view? Uh, I don't think so. No, because it's not listed on any exchanges yet. That's the only thing, you know, XT algo, it is embedded with trading view. So, you know, when they get listed on L bank and especially like Mexi, they become uh part of, you know, they're able to be tracked. So I think Myro's on there, but yeah, tips is not, but you know, if we go to Myro, you can actually use my trading indicator on some of these OG meme coins. Yeah. Here's Myro. Okay, here's the Miro five minute chart. Uh, if you're looking at this, Miro, uh, let's go to the Miro one hour here. There's the Miro one hour. Okay, um, you can you can actually trade on this. Uh, you could trade Miro right on the chart. So that's Miro there. Obviously, you can uh, obviously you can look up Doge and Shib and Pepe and Bonk and uh, I think Whiff is on here. Yeah, there's Whiff on. Uh, on Binance. So, I mean, you can use the trading indicator on some of these, you know, top meme coins for sure. Um, Bad Idea AI would be on there as well. Let me pull this down. I, I think it would be. Uh, yeah. Bad Ideas on here. Uh, maybe get off, maybe go to Mexi's chart, probably a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. So there's a uh, Bad Idea on there as well. Here's the one day. There's bad idea on the one day. So nice momentum up flashed on bad idea on the one day. Uh, let's see back on Saturday and we're up 40% since momentum up again. Perfect example on how XTiago works right here. If you had an alert set on bad idea, AI, it would have told you, Hey, might be a good time to buy as soon as this candle closed. And this is on the daily chart. I'm usually trading on the daily. Just, I think it's better data, but it's again, more of a philosophy on how you trade. I like the daily. I'm more of a longer term, not so much, you know, hour by hour. Sometimes I do. But yeah, this is a great opportunity. I mean, from Saturday to now, bad idea. AI is up 40% on the little bit of a breakout here. I think we're just beginning there with bad too. Um, I'm still holding some tokens there. Still uh, still ready to see what that can do for sure. Uh, Byte is solid. I have heard some people talk about this one. I'm going to go ahead and add it to the list. Um, it's down a little bit here, 31 mil. Okay. Coming back down a little bit. I'll add it to the list though. Maybe on a little bit of a dip. That could be interesting. Yeah. We talked about Samo. Do you have any knowledge on canine finance that's scheduled to drop tomorrow? That's a partnership with Shiba Inu. Yeah, we were just talking about it. So hopefully you heard it. Yeah. That was a little while back. I'm way behind on, uh, chats. So let me get back ahead here. <laughs> yeah. We talked about this one early in, uh, in the stream too. COQ. It's one of those ones on Avalanche. Um, by the way, not affiliated with them, not working with them at all, but I am invested in there. Uh, it's over a $200 million market cap. I like it. I like these first movers on these new chains to try to get to a billion. We're seeing it happen everywhere right now during this meme coin season 2024. And uh, that's what this live stream is all about, guys. How to make money in meme coins, how to go out, how to, how to go about it strategically as well. Not just, you know, throw money around and lose a bunch of money. Get a, get, get a pocket of money, a pile of money that you're okay to lose and then strategically invest in a lot of different plays and hopefully you get a couple big hits. Is Bonk a good play right now, a good investment right now? I mean, it just depends on your goals, right? I mean, you have to know this. If you're getting into Bonk right now, you're getting into a huge, huge market cap. Okay, you're getting into a crypto that is sitting at a $2 billion market cap. However, if you're under the belief that Bonk and Pepe can get up here to where Shib and Doge are in this cycle, right? If Bonk can get up to where Shib is, that's still a 10x from here, right? So you have to ask yourself these sort of questions and how much are you willing to risk on that proposition if that's your goal or is your risk or, or is your goal a 2x, a 3x, a 4x? So it's not just so simple as, hey, is Bonk a good investment? You got to really ask yourself what your overall goals are with that, right? And not just, hey, should I invest in this? Can I make money on this? What's your real goal with it? 
Like, are you, what are you trying to do? Right. I think that's an important point and an important question to ask. Um, let's see here. Let's see. What else do we got? Uh, let's see here. Haven't heard too much on a whiff other than momentum. Yeah. And they just got listed on Binance. Um, and it's up 46% today. But some of these ones that are top movers right now, look at this. Salama. Salama's up 126%. Smog has been crushing it. We mentioned this. I can't believe I already exited that trade. That's one that I really struck out on, and then I never got back in. But Smog is a $173 million mark cap now. We got we talked about it on the YouTube channel, took a promo deal uh, for Smog to help them with marketing at a $2 million market cap. cap. Unbelievable. They've asked me to do another video, so I will have some updates for you on Smog um, if you're interested. Again, this is one that it's pressing up there into Miro territory. Which it's already there. That could potentially get to a billion. I mean, you're kind of looking at, hey, what's the what's the next Solana meme coin that can get to a billion? If I if I'm making that bet, I want to find ones like Smog that are already 170, 200 million, and I'm okay taking a four or five x rather than looking for the one, you know, that's going to absolutely go parabolic, right? Um, I, I I still look at those low cap ones, but I'm not going to put as much money into them. I'll put it just a few sol, two or three sol into there, you know. Um, we mentioned COQ, Kakinu, first one on Avalanche. This one's primed, I think, to $263 million. I think this could be the first billion-dollar meme coin on Avalanche. Why not, right? It's up 38%. This is the trend we're seeing. Um, again, one of those cryptos not even listed here is Corgi AI. or Corgi. Is it Corgi or Corgi? I don't know. Um, it's, our, it's over a billion. This is on Kronos, okay? We're seeing every new meme coin on these new chains just absolutely explode. And crazy thing with Corgi is nothing really happened from June until November. It was just pretty much flat and then bang, explosion. Um, so again, I'm looking at this. Hey, if this can happen on Kronos for Corgi AI, why can't this happen to Cocky New on Avalanche? Why can't it happen to uh brett on base the first one on base uh by the way brett is making some headway again guys look at this nice little comeback here on brett we've been watching this one uh we just when we came on stream we were talking about the dip and a dip down to like 140 million that's about our entry point um and so it's looking nice looking like a nice little rebound here uh on brett so again i'm i'm making a bet on brett right now and kakinu as these ones that you know hey they're the first ones. One's on Avalanche. This one's on base. I'm going to make a bet that one of these, if not two of these, are going to go to a billion. That's my bet I'm making. And I'm okay to see what happens with that. I'm also willing to see if both of them happen. Obviously, that would be great. But that's going to be the start of my exit strategy there. Um, you know, once we get to that billion dollar threshold for sure. That that's that's huge. Uh, let's see. Shib is consolidating. Good thing. Yeah. Shib is consolidating. Yeah. That's, that's totally okay. After the big run up we've had, totally cool. Uh, Oscar's in the house. What's up, man? How we doing, Oscar? Zach, any thoughts on seller network? Very underrated. Mr. Fahrenheit, how you doing, man? Um, I believe we talked about seller network way back in the day. It has not been on my radar as of late, but would be curious to hear why you like it. Where would you recommend trading some of these uh, coins that aren't listed on Coinbase, Binance, etc. On on the DeFi side, Derek, if if you're not if you want to be heavily trading meme coins, you got to understand how to use MetaMask or or one of these trust wallet. Um, obviously, Uniswap is for Ethereum tokens. Pancake Swap is for BSC tokens, and you have Sushi Swap, which is used for Base. You got to get familiar with this if you really want to trade meme coins, because a lot of times the biggest gains are had on meme coins from how what am i trying to say the biggest gains are had on meme coins before they get listed on exchanges that's what i'm trying to say so the people who absolutely crush it with meme coins usually are getting into these things before they get listed on coinbase and binance especially before they get listed on coinbase and binance once they get listed to coinbase and binance they've already pumped like crazy they've already went up tremendously 
Okay, so you want to get in there way sooner before they get listed on these two crypto on these two exchanges. Now, if you're first, you know, you could do a little bit better if you're buying these on like Mexi, because that's usually like first step, Mexi or L Bank or something like that. For example, I think it was uh, it's Brett, right, that just got listed on one exchange. I think it's L Bank, if I'm not mistaken. Go to markets here. Yeah, so first crypto exchange, um, Brett is on L Bank. So if you if you're hell bent on using the centralized exchange and not, you know, the Dex is here, Radium and Jupiter on Solana side with with Brett, um, or excuse me, um, yeah, I guess you could use uh, their Dexes too. You just have to bridge it over. So yeah, I'm using I'm using the DeFi side for this bridging over to Ethereum with with Brett. But if you want to buy on centralized exchange, it is listed on one now. If you're interested in that, it's L Bank. Um, but again. You don't want to wait until these things are listed on Binance and Coinbase. Not ideal, right? You can still do okay, but the big gains are had when you get in these things before they're listed on those places. Bought Salama yesterday. Hope it goes 100x. Nice, Alex. It looks like that was one of the top movers in the uh, in the meme coin space. There's Salama. Meme AI, too. Look at that. That's one we've talked about. We've talked about Smog before. It's great to see those two at the top. Of course, we've talked about Pepe and Whiff. We were talking about uh, COQ a lot here today. Uh, Suka, very, very bullish on uh, that one for the long term. Pepe, Myro, some of the ones we like here. Floki, I do like Floki. is still an OG play. like that Elon play too. Dojalon Mars, bad idea. Um, so that's what we got here. Let's see. I think Floki's super underrated still, super undervalued. I think they're like SHIB. They're building a really nice ecosystem. And, you know, I uh, I really like TokenFi. I've been investing in TokenFi since day one. Got my initial out. I've like four or five x since launch. And I know that they're much more than a meme coin. I know they're listed as a meme coin here, but they're not that. Um, so I'm really excited about, about that whole ecosystem, really. Uh, Tay-Tay. Right now, uh, very, very quiet on that front uh, over at CCX, but I'm being told that they're kind of waiting uh, to see kind of what is the fallout or what the uh, impact is of, you know, the Coinbase versus SEC lawsuit, the Ripple lawsuit before they kind of go full-fledged with their plans. I'm still holding um, CCX right now uh, and just kind of waiting to see what's next for them. Super Trump coin, five days old contract renounced. I don't know about that one. Super Trump coin. There's been a ton of Trump coins or Trump coins too uh, going crazy. Yeah, Oscar's in the house. My man. Token generation happening soon. Then K9 will list soon. Excited. Yeah, K9 tomorrow. That's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. I'm excited about that one as well, Oscar. Yeah, as Casablanca said, it's smash the like button, guys. Go ahead and smash the like button. Uh, let's see here. You can convert to USDC or USDT to sell cash out. Oh yeah. Learning. Yeah. Yeah. You would swap it to a stable coin for sure. It's canine coin going to be available tomorrow. If so, how should we prepare? Uh, yeah, blue water. I mean, uh, you can, so what I'm hearing is around 12 PM Eastern, they're getting ready to launch. Um, a lot of people like to get in right at launch there. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time on that tomorrow. So I'll, if I'm not live, I'll put out some content around it. But uh, what I would do is, you know, here's their Twitter page. I would get into their uh, link tree. I would get into their Telegram, get into the community. Um, that, that This is obviously if you've already made the decision you want to invest here uh, and then be ready for the launch tomorrow. Be ready for the launch. I think, uh, here he says, join our official Telegram right here. Okay, and they've got the contract address. You'll you'll need that ready to go if you, if you want to make a play on this thing tomorrow. Um, I'm excited about it. I uh, Like I said, I've 
private investor in here, but I'm also going to buy some on the open market tomorrow uh, as well. And again, it was the relationship I built at e, uh, at ETH Toronto. I found uh, one of the founders of K9 Finance, and the founder of ETH Toronto is on uh, is is on the the developer side for K9 Finance. It was an amazing conversation I had with them out there. But again, I always want to keep saying this: this 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 networking is is so important, man. I'm telling you guys, if you can get out to these conferences, go because we all have the same ability to make these connections. I know a lot of you guys think like. Oh well, Oscar and Zach and all these people and 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 all these people on YouTube like they they've got a leg up because they're building connections. You can build these connections too. I mean, we've been here for years, and that's all we're doing is networking. Obviously, we built a platform and all of that, but I go to all these places in person to meet people, and I'm throwing myself out there. Right? It's one thing to be a passive investor and in the background, and that's fine. But if you really want to take this thing to the next level. You know, get in there, get into all the telegrams, find out where people are doing, where people are going, find your people and find your network to where you've got people, you know, helping you and you're helping them and everybody's winning together. I mean, that's, that's crucial. It's crucial. Obviously we're a big network right here. If you guys are here on the channel, um, hopefully you guys feel that way as well, that, you know, we're all kind of growing and learning together, but I'm telling you guys, get out to conferences, go in person get out there if you can get out there if you can at least try one you know i'm going to be at token 2049 in dubai next month never been to dubai but i know it's the crypto capital of the world huge huge opportunity to meet people you know i'm going out there guys with you know the the hopes that i can meet a lot of new people and build a lot of new connections and uh you know that's that's the goal A uh, big hug from Portugal. Can you talk about Solana? Solana's been crushing it. I mean, just as a chain in, in, in general. And you know what? Meme coins have done a ton for Solana. Say what you want, whether you like meme coins, you, you invest in them, whatever. They put blockchains on the map. There's no doubt about it. They bring volume. They bring a ton of excitement, exposure, etc. And uh, overall, Solana's just been on a tear since it bottomed out. You know, uh, what was Solana? Less than 10 bucks when it bottomed out? crazy where can you buy canine after the launch uh so during the launch it's going to be listed uh on um um we'll add liquidity to uniswap here you go 50k ETH and 50k canine here you go canine is not available for purchase on uniswap until march 7th at noon eastern only follow official links so it'll be on the DeFi side first. This goes to my point. A lot of times before exchange listings happen, they're getting listed on Uniswap, which if you're not familiar and you're only buying on centralized exchanges and you want to take this serious, you've got to learn how to use Uniswap, PancakeSwap. you got to find out what these are. There's videos all over the place um, on YouTube for free. So it's on you. If, you. if you want to take this to the next level, and you know if you're sitting there waiting to buy something only on a centralized exchange, you're losing out on gains. More often than not, you're losing out because by the time it gets there, people who've been trading it for months on the DeFi side, they might be ready to take profits, right? You see that big pump and then the sell-off. Those are people who've been there forever. And, and But you have that same opportunity. That's the thing. You don't have to wait till it gets listed to Binance or Coinbase or whatever. Just learn what other people have already figured out. And I know what that feeling is, right? I resisted. When I first got into crypto, I resisted you know, utilizing DEXs, decentralized exchanges. I was like, I, you know, anytime you want to learn something new, it's t it's hard. We resist it. It's like human nature. You know, we don't want to learn it. If we don't know how to do it, it, you know, but then once you learn it once, it's like, okay, that wasn't that bad, right? It's it's very similar here. I mean, you'll resist it, and, and but just, you know, if, if you're serious about it, you got to learn. You got to be willing to learn, unlearn, and relearn things and keep up with, you know, this space because it's moving fast. And I remember back in 2021, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it. I was like, I'll just, you know, I got my Coinbase. I got my Robin hood. I got my, you know, at that time, Weeble, I was buying stuff on there. And, and, you know, now I look, look at it, you know, three years later and, you know, I'm bridging tokens from Ethereum to, um, 
to base and I've got a phantom wallet. I got a MetaMask wallet. I'm on the BSC chain. I'm on the Ethereum chain. I'm on Cardano. I got a Vesper wallet for Cardano doing all this stuff now. Right. Um, but again, it's just, it doesn't take a genius. It just takes a little bit of effort to find out how to do it. And if you're serious about it, it's not hard. I mean, so if you're somebody out there that's resisting that, don't do that. If you, if you want to take this serious, I mean, just, just go out there and learn. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> do I have a, do I have a tutorial on that? I've got some, um, I can't remember if I have one on setting up a MetaMask, but there's so many good ones out there. Um, let me see. I might have some things on my playlist. Admittedly, I need to do more stuff for crypto beginners. Admittedly, it's uh, the problem is I don't like to edit. And when you do these tutorial type videos, you got to edit them and you got to make them. I can't stand editing, guys. I, I don't like it. It doesn't doesn't excite me one bit. In fact, it gives me uh, it, it's one of those things I resist, to be honest. There you go. Right. See, nobody's perfect. Um, where the hell is it? Oh, quick tips, tutorials. Uh, where's a, I thought I had a playlist for beginners, maybe crypto beginners. What's in here? Yeah. So we've got, um, Bitcoin versus Ethereum, how to buy XRP in the United States, become a better crypto and stock trader. Um, uh, why invest in Bitcoin over gold, building your 2025 crypto millionaire portfolio. Um, ranking the top 100 cryptos for you. That's a, that's an interesting one. So I can't remember. I, I don't think I, Oh, we have candlestick crypto trading for beginners. How to read candlesticks. I guess I did not do a tutorial on that, but there's a ton of them out there, man. There's, there's so many just come here. Like, you know, how to start or how to, uh, open a meta mask wallets like here you go there's there's tons of great ones what is metamask how to open account tutorial for beginners like they're everywhere i mean this is the same for you know everything bridging the base or whatever well i have an editor who um does all my short form content but i don't really like to edit i mean obviously i don't like to edit this this is live it's just you know um but i don't really edit my videos either but there's certain um, evergreen type videos that I probably should edit. And I have an editor on, on, on kind of speed dial, but, uh, you're right. I could still hire a couple people at this point, but <laughs> thoughts on snack. I'm holding a little bag of that. Oh, we didn't talk about snack. Uh, we might've just glossed over it. Snack first meme coin on Cardano. So another one sitting at this 124, 125 million range. I think this is going to be another great play. Um, again, it's that first mover advantage. First one, not the first one on Cardano, but the first one that's really taken the space by storm. I think they had another one called Hosky, right? That might've been before it, but Snack really um, got a lot of traction. Got a lot of traction. So I do like that one too. On how to buy Brett, we, we, uh, we, we, did, we did show you. So here, let me show you this though. Um, here's the thing with, oh, Brett's making a push here. Brett's back up over 200 million. Nice. I'm hoping Brett can, uh, get to a billion dollar market cap guys. I really, I, I think first one on base, it makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, you never know, but it makes a lot of sense. I mean, we're seeing it happen everywhere. Look what happened to the one on Kronos went over a billion. We're still a five X away from a billion here. We'll see if it happens. Um, so here's the thing. If you go to their website. Uh, where's their website? I will go to their Twitter first, go to their Twitter, go here, go to their website. And if you scroll down basics with Brett, how to bridge, this is what you need to know how to bridge. And I also dropped the important links. Um, if you want to look at it this way, this is literally just take your time, look at these links and you'll know how to do it. Um, James. If that makes sense. Interesting, really? 
screaming to sell right now. Hmm. I wonder why. I mean, a lot of people are. A lot of people have, I mean, a lot of people have said that in the past few months, though. They've been saying it for months and, and the market's gone up. So I, I never, I'm never an all or nothing investor. I'll say that, Tiger. I'm never all in or all out. I mean, I will slowly pull back and not be as risk adverse, but I'm never an all the way in or all the way out person um, when it comes to like, you know, I, I saw meet Kevin yesterday. He's like, I'm selling everything. And he does like he completely sells out and then waits. Like I'm not that type of investor. I I'll sell and take some profits. If I think we could be getting ready for some type of correction or crash, I'll, 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 I'll mitigate my risk, take some profits, but you just never know. So, I mean, I want to have some skin in the game and some dry powder at all times. Does that make sense? Um, that's just my philosophy though. Because in case the market does continue to go up, you still have skin in the game. If you're all the way out and you're sitting in cash or yeah, sitting in cash and it continues to go up and you're wrong, now you just look like, you know, you look like a dummy, you know? Um, obviously, you look brilliant if it all crashes and then you buy everything back at lower prices. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to, I guess I try to play like a little balancing act there and, you know, liquidate some things, but not all, not everything. No, he didn't tell me that. Somebody said that he they're watching his stream. So Alex Becker's big in like gaming crypto and um I haven't seen his uh I haven't seen his video on sell everything though. Um personally. Let's see what he's got here. We'll subscribe to him here. Let's see. I'm dumping all my crypto. Dump it, sell it all, Bitcoin before this crash. Huge warning signs. Interesting. I'll have to watch that. I'll have to watch it and see see why he's saying that. But uh, yeah, it's worth a watch. Different different perspectives. Um, so I'll uh, I'll definitely check that out. Um, let's see. I think we're gonna get up on out of here, guys. We got a bunch of videos uh, to make and stuff still today. A bunch of things I still got to get done. So. I appreciate you guys for checking out the live stream. Hopefully you learned something here in this meme coin live stream. I know everybody's craving, uh, going crazy about this stuff right now. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. But I wanted this to be more than just, oh my gosh, it's going crazy. It's going to the moon. Oh my gosh. You know, it's, I, I want this to be more of a learning lesson. Like how do we navigate this stuff? And hopefully you guys glean some things off of that. I appreciate you guys for checking everything out and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.